Examination of L5 nerve root. There are three elements in the examination of any nerve root. The sensory examination, the motor examination, and the reflexes examination. When examining the L5 nerve root, the sensory examination is easy. You examine the sensation at the top of the foot. We know that the top of the foot is L5, the medial side of the foot is L4, and the lateral side of the foot is S1. This is how you know which nerve root is involved. So we're looking for L5 nerve root, then we focus on the sensation at the top of the foot. We go from L4 medial side to the top of the foot L5, to the lateral aspect of the foot, S1. There is no reflexes for L5. The L4 reflex, the patella reflex, is mainly L4. And the S1 reflex is the anchor reflex. Anchor reflex equal S1. How about motor examination? What are the muscles supplied by L5 nerve root and what are the functions of these muscles? The L5 nerve root supplies the extensor digitorum longus, the extensor hallucis longus, and the extensor digitorum brevis, which is a small muscle on the top of the foot. It also supplies the medial hamstring, the semimembranosus, and semitendinosus, and the gluteus medius. In an L5 nerve root irritation, the EMG will show fibrillation and sharp waves in these muscles from proximal to distal, in the gluteus medius, in the medial hamstring, in the extensor hallucis longus, extensor digitorum longus, and the extensor digitorum brevis. The extensor digitorum longus is a tough extensor. The extensor hallucis longus causes big toe extension. This is the summary of L5 nerve root. The L5 nerve root may also cause ankle dorsiflexion, which is considered to be predominantly an L4 nerve root action. The medial hamstring muscles are the semimembranosus and semitendinosus, and they are predominantly knee flexors. Injury to L5 nerve root can cause Trindelenburg gait, due to weakness of hip abduction, can cause weakness of knee flexion, can also cause a foot drop and weakness of big toe extension. The posterolateral disc herniation at L4, L5 will cause an L5 nerve root irritation. A foraminal disc herniation at L4, L5 will cause L4 radiculopathy. If the patient has an L5 S1 ethmic spondylolisthesis, this will cause an L5 radiculopathy. The L5 nerve root may cause weakness of the abductors of the hip gluteus medius and the gluteus minimus, and can cause Trindenburg gait. What do you mean by Trindenburg gait? If you stand on the affected leg, the other side of the pelvis will drop like running away, but the trunk lean towards the injured side. It's like come to assist because the pelvis is dropping away, so the trunk lean on the involved side. What is the nerve supply of the hip abductors? 
the glottius medius, and the glottius minimus, the superior glottian nerve. Can you locate the superior glottian nerve in this diagram? And how do you know that? So if you don't know anything about this diagram, the biggest nerve here is the sciatic nerve. Number one is the sciatic nerve. Number two is the higher one, so superior gluteal nerve. Number three got to be the inferior gluteal nerve because it's lower. How do you assess for the hamstring function? You position the patient so the hips and the lower extremities will hang freely, dangle. Ask the patient to flex the knees and determine if he can flex the knees. Palpate medially to determine if there is any activity for the semimembranosus and semitendinosus, which are supplied by the L5 nerve root. Remember, laterally, there's another hamstring, which is the biceps, but this one is supplied by the S1 nerve root. When the L5 nerve root is irritated by a disc herniation, the patient will have sciatica with positive straight leg raising. Straight leg raising tension sign occurs from L5 to S1 nerve root involvement. The straight leg raising is a good predictor for success of surgery. The tension sign or straight leg raising produces pain and prosthesia in the leg at 30 to 70 degrees of hip flexion. In contrast to the straight leg raising test, there is a test called the femoral nerve stretch test, and that is predominantly an L4 nerve root.